Damn, son, where'd you find this? Two, three,
Live at KEXP, field music. And that is the song, I'm Glad, and the first one, The Noisy Days Are Over. They are from the brand new album, Common Time. It is on the Memphis Industries label from Great Britain. And we're glad you guys are here this afternoon. Tomorrow evening, they're going to be playing at the Crocodile. And then Wednesday, if you're in Portland, they'll be at the Doug Fur Lounge. Peter, David, we've got Liz on keyboards and Andrew on bass. Again, thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, it's wonderful that you're here. It's a really nice new record. The, uh, just a little background for folks maybe not familiar. You hit the last album. You've been around for several years. Yeah. And you have the uh, album a few years ago, Plum. Mm-hmm. You also each have uh, musical projects on your own. You had a film uh, a soundtrack last year correct? A year ago? Two uh, years ago? Yeah, yeah, that came out last year. We, we originally did it uh, just to play live, actually, in 2013. Um, yeah, we, we, keep, we try and keep very busy. You're busy. I, can th- I think that's what I'm trying to say here. And now you have a new album. So is there anything that kind of got things going again in the direction of a new field music release? 
I think we just uh, spend quite a lot of time kind of trying out things in, in various guises, and that's, it's always kind of easier to do that, to like, you know, experiment wildly when there's a concept, or even a full concept. And then we get to the point where, you know, we're, we, we'd like to be in the studio together a little bit more. Yeah. Um, Shall we start the band again? Yeah, like, <laughs> I've, Peter, I've missed you. I mean, obviously, oh, really? we, do, you know, we do all of those things, all of the solo projects, we still do them together, all of the... But, you know, just to be in the studio, <sighs> ripping each other's songs to bits and uh, trying to compete for, you know, better guitar sounds. That, you know, that, that's something which mo motivates us. And, you know, with like, a four-year gap without that kind of friendly competition in the studio is uh, a little bit too long. So that collaboration between brothers, it is a, a friendly competition. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> mostly friendly, yeah. I mean... We don't like to admit it too much, but I mean, we, we are pretty much best mates. Yeah. And, oh, uh, thanks, Dave. Well, that's what I think, anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we don't... I, I'm, obviously, there are famous brothers in bands who don't get on so well, but we get on really well. Not going to go anywhere near that. <laughs> yeah. Now, the last album, there were a lot of really short little pieces. And this one, there's, it's a longer album. There's longer songs on here. I wanted to kind of know how that came about um we decided to experiment with real songs for a change yeah um we decided to experiment with writing choruses which is something which you know quite often we not exactly shy away from but I, um when we very when we first started the band and made the, made the first record across like 2003 2004 we, we had this this idea that we weren't going to repeat things if we were going to repeat something, it had to be the most important thing in the world that it must be repeated. And that goes against the, you know, the, the basic structures of what pop music is. But, but it, it stayed with us. And, and, and with Plum, we, we wanted to do something which flowed together as a piece and which used some musical ideas which didn't lend themselves to being longer songs. And in this, 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 this time round, it's, it's, it's almost like we've, uh, we've let ourselves off a little bit. And, you know, it's like... We, we, can do a, we can do a real song. We can do the chorus twice at the end of the song. That's, that's okay. For now, we might, not, you know, we might not stick with that. Yeah. Um, those first two songs you just played, there's definitely more of a... Uh, there's a little bit of a funk feeling that's going on uh, quite a bit on this record. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I think as an influence, it's always been there with us, but we've, um, we've never... We've always struggled to find a way to do that convincingly as, um, you know suburban kids from the northeast of England. Mm -hmm. well, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't really want to do like parodies of Earth, Wind and Fire. Well, uh, eventually I might want to do that. But it, it, it would be terrible. Yeah, it would be terrible. Um, but finding a way for us to come to terms with even the word funk, the word <laughs> groove, which is like, it, it, you know, like our, our musical upbringing, it, it feels like, it feels a bit wrong. But, we, we like to do that. You know, we, I, I want to make music that I want to dance to. Yeah. You mentioned you're in the northeast of England. You're in Sunderland. So you're away from the musical <laughs> hotbeds that we, here in the U.S., obviously, that we've known for years with London and Manchester. It seems as if you guys, uh, it agrees with you to stay in your home area. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really... Um, it's cheaper. It's a practical way to go about things. You know, like, I mean, you know, we like being around our friends and our family, and we have uh we have no feelings that we should be uh, that we should act as rock stars or that we should be treated as rock stars and in Sunderland if we were to try to act like rock stars we would be um pilloried I'd say um and it it, it means we've got a we, we can afford to have our own studio and we can afford to make all those records and make all those like weird side projects um which is something that we, you know, we couldn't afford to do if we, were, if we were trying to pay for studio time or rehearsal time in a city like London, where I think it's really, really difficult to be in a band right now, even though that, that's obviously where like, the music industry in, in the UK is, is predominantly based. Yeah. Common Time is the brand new album. They're going to be playing tomorrow evening at the Crocodile here in Seattle and Wednesday evening at the <laughs> Doug Fir in Portland. It's great that you guys, it's been several years since you've been in the US. I know you just did a few shows on the East Coast and came over here. And we're glad you're here this afternoon and get a little rest before doing uh, the show tomorrow night. Thanks. Yeah. And one more thing you mentioned, you know, some of the stuff from way back. I saw on the list for Record Store Day coming up on April 16th. 
we've, you guys. We've we've done. A you're re- on the list. Yeah, we've done. We've we we remastered um, our first album, uh, partly out of necessity because um, we lost the master, um, and uh, when you know when we when we released that first album back in 2005. I mean, not that many people were interested in buying, well, any vinyl, but certainly our vinyl. So we probably only pressed like 500 copies. And ever since then, there's been a steady trickle of requests saying, I really want your first album on vinyl. How do I do that? And I have, I have up till now, I've had no good answer for that. But um, yeah, so it's finally going to be available this year. Yeah, so hopefully it'll be at the store that where whoever's listening we'll be able to maybe find it. Yeah, I mean, Record Store Day, obviously, it's a bit of, a, it's a bit of an ask for the record-buying public, but um, uh, it, it seemed like a neat way to, to release the record. All right. You ready for some more music here? Yeah. This is called Disappointed. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> has been going on so long I can't believe it I made mistakes at the start it seems you can't forgive them I see the table falls and I see it's getting nowhere am I just wasting my time waiting for a sign This is the space to perfect I've been wishing for But something's gone wrong in your head or mine Oh no If you want this to be more Then you've got to let me know But if you want me to be right every time You're gonna be disappointed And if you need to be sure Tell me what I have to do But if you need me to be everything You're gonna be disappointed Should it be clear to me? Should I understand it? Have I been asking too much? I'm not enough This is the to work Don't you want to know what's wrong?
on KEXP. You're listening to Field Music. A couple of more songs from the brand new album, Common Time. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Really appreciate it. And they're going to be at the Crocodile tomorrow evening and Wednesday evening at the Doug Fur in Portland. Thank you guys. And thanks to our engineer, Kevin. 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org. Damn, son, where'd you find this?